guys welcome back to my channel Alitech okay in this video I want to show you the second method how to install GMS on Huawei P40 Pro P40 Mate 30 Pro or Huawei new device smartphone you you have so the are first method and second method how to install GMS on your phone the first method is my previous video you can check on my description I will attach the link I think you have to check it out in the second method I will show you after this so in this board method has different issues different problem so you need to know this so at the first method you can play Google Play Store you can open Google Play Store as usual you can update your Google Play Service Google Play Store but the problem is push notification is not registered so you need to download push notification tester on Google Play Store so after that you click on it then you click start you get you will see that they have an X, X symbol on the show push notification is not registered that's all the problem and the second method that I will show you to this is you can update your Google Play service you can update the Google Play store and push notification is fixed but at the end you need to disable Google service framework to Google Play service is work on your phone so in the second method you cannot use you cannot open Google Play Store you can use Aurora Store to get your application there so it has same function as Google Play Store you don't need, you don't need to worry it So before we get started, make sure you download the file that I give you in the, in the description. So if you already downloaded it, let's get started the second method. Let's go.
So after you're successful back up your LZ play using high suite, high suite or flash drive or anything else. So you so you will see that uh, this G icon is appear on your phone on your screen. So just click on it. Okay, I already installed this G I already installed this LZ play. So what what this thing is been is a uh, reinstall Google service. So just click so just click on it. Okay, what is what this means is a uh, download. So just click. So let it so let it uh, process on your background. What we gonna do next is go to your file. Oh, my file is so far. Going to Let's go to your file. Internet storage and go find Google Service APK. And you don't need this. You don't need this folder anymore. So install APK number one until number number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and don't install number seven yet. So just install it. So that that's it. So what we're gonna do next is go to setting then go to user and account and an account uh, click on google so click on existing so the problem so the problem is uh, so the problem is you cannot sign in using this anymore so i'm gonna show you how to what problem appear Okay. So this problem appear called sign in. There was the, there was a problem communicating with Google Server. Try again later. So what you want to do is how to fix that problem. Okay, how to fix the problem is so simple. Okay, just. Just click on three dot here in upper upper three dot here. Browser sign in. Just click OK. Sign in Google account using browser Google browser. Just click next. So it's already signed in. If you want to check uh, whether your successful sign in or not. Click on user an account, click on Google, you will see that you successful sign in on your Google account. So if you have multiply a Google account, you can add an account and click on Google. Just sign in using previous method that I show you. Click here, browser sign in. Just click OK and sign in. After you install Google Framework, you cannot sign any more Google account after this. So if you have multiplied Google account, just sign in as many as you have Google account. So what we gonna do next is go back to your file and install Google Service Framework. Just install it. like that and go to your play store yeah working fine and just uh, install push notification let's install and after that 
just clear your background apps then restart your phone Okay, after you restart your phone, you will see that uh, a annoying notification error is just appear. So what we're gonna do next is just silent. So just like it just annoy me. So what we're gonna do next is click on push notification apps that you you download just now then go click start next hide hide request notification congratulations your phone can be push notification without any problem okay so you will see that uh, your register for push notification is fixed all right so what we're gonna do next how to fix this pop-up notification error on this device what we want to do next is move on computer okay we would like to move on computer so before that uh, go to your file what you want to install on your computer is the setup MT8. The setup you must install on your computer. So let's go. So after you reset your smartphone, just uh, click to push notification just to make sure that you will receive this uh, register for notification. So it's working fine. Uh, click to Play Store Google. So, after you disable your GMS Google Service Framework just now, you will see that you can't. So you you will see that you can't uh, using your Google's Google Play Store again. What you want to do next is go to Google Service APK folder, then 
inside Aurora Cyanogen. Just install it. Okay, then. Okay, after that, go to Aurora Store. Next, as low. Okay, make sure that you you read this before you continue. So just click on anonymous. Just update, it will be updated on your background. Same as Google Play Store, so you don't have to worry. So then ask me again, hello, install, and it will be so it plus when it's update. Click it again, next, anonymous. Successful login and you can download your Gmail, I think. is uh, this push notification is absolutely real-time uh, push notification or not because I think the protocol the protocol of different apps is different different protocol so you cannot expect that it just working 100% uh, real-time notification push notification so that's all another method how to install GMS on your phone. If you have a question, if you have a question, just comment below and we will discuss together. So so once again I want to apologize because my bad English because I'm not fluently speaking in English. So and if you like my video, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe and share for your friends.